a lot to talk about here. What comes out of this meeting between Hunter Biden's attorneys and the Department of Justice? Because, again, the timing, quite curious, but with this whistleblower complaint now emerging, but Fox was reporting last week that this was requested by his attorneys some time ago. But how, does the, how do you see this playing out, Miranda? Hi, Dagan. Look, I think uh, most likely because this uh, investigation in Delaware into Hunter Biden has been going on for five years um, and we've been expecting some sort of indictment or plea deal for over a year, there have been rumours coming out of Delaware, and then just nothing happened. It all just fell in a heap. And we now know why, because the uh, this IRS whistleblower is claiming that uh, he has documents um, to prove, he says, that um, there were the US attorney in, in Washington, D.C., and the US attorney in California, um, ha both Biden appointees, were not allowing uh, the Delaware US attorney to bring charges in those jurisdictions, which he had to because those are the places that Hunter Biden lived where he had to pay tax. And so that just brought the whole thing to a grinding halt and um, precipitated this whistleblower complaint, um, particularly after Merrick Garland on March 1 appeared at an oversight hearing and gave testimony saying, oh, no, David Weiss has got full powers and all authority to uh, bring charges wherever he wants and he's fully independent and uh, so on. And that was uh, really um, misinformation. And so uh, that's, I think, what, what really forced the whistleblower's hand. You know, Rand, I find it rich as, as a former House member that the Hunter Biden team wants uh, an investigation into Marjorie Taylor Greene when usually she's covered by the speech and debate clause of the Constitution. She has a, a wide range of things she can say uh, that's, that's uh, covered by the Constitution. But, but Hunter Biden wants her investigated, not him. <laughs> Well, this is part of this very aggressive uh, tactic by Hunter Biden's many lawyers, many very expensive lawyers. He has some of the best lawyers in the country. Uh, interesting that he um, has those resources. And uh, they're just pulling out all stops. They're suing uh, people. Uh, anybody who is um, negative towards Hunter Biden, they'll, they'll, uh, it's either the lawyers or these Democrat dark money groups, which have millions of dollars, uh, going around doing oppo research. Uh, they've gone to House Oversight Chairman James Comer's uh, hometown in Kentucky and put up nasty billboards. Mm. Um, it's, it's really, it's, it's all hands to the wheel to try and traduce anybody who is trying to bring uh, this Biden influence peddling scheme to light. Right, because it's not about Hunter Biden, it's about Joe Biden. And it started when he was the exactly. vice president, I, again, <laughs> the vice president of the United States. Uh, speaking of, well, the entire scheme, Miranda, your uh, column was titled, your most recent one, Hunter Biden may be living at the White House to evade legal papers from his baby mama. Lay this out, because it's astonishing, but everything to do with this family is utterly believable, particularly with this greasy individual? Well, it's been rumoured for a while, and those rumours are getting um, stronger and stronger, uh, at least for six months that Hunter Biden's been living in the White House. Uh, in fact, ever since or even before his daughter, his eldest daughter, Naomi Biden, was married at the White House. And if you remember, the New York Times at that stage last November uh, said that she and her fiancé and then husband were living at the White House. Um, and uh, then Hunter Biden is just always seems to be at the White House. He's, uh, you know, always seen with his wife and their toddler son, his second wife and their toddler son, uh, strolling towards Marine One behind his father, uh, getting on Air Force Two, travelling around the world, uh, going on vacations to borrowed billionaires' homes, uh, heading off to Camp David, uh, at the Easter egg hunt, at fireworks. You know, he's always there, and we know that um, he moved out of his place in Malibu some time ago that was being paid for, I think it was uh, $25,000 or $30,000 a month mm. being <clears throat> paid for by 
<clears throat> the Hollywood mm -hmm. attorney, Kevin Morris, um, who also paid uh, very generously his $2.8 million mm -hmm. IRS bill. Right. Mm. Um, so uh, so it, it's, I guess, free rent at the White House. Free rent never ends. Randa Devine, always on the story. Thank you <laughs> for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks.